Hey, it's me. If you're new here, let me just explain what you're watching right now before you get very confused. I have a series on my channel called Squishy Makeovers where I take used, broken squishies and then fix them up. And a lot of those squishies happen to be food or dessert items. So I'm taking squishies that I've painted from that series and actually try to make it in real life with food. Food. And this is the third time I'm doing this. Disclaimer time! I don't really know how to bake very well. It's one of those things that if you don't practice, you're not gonna know the right way to do things. So when I do something wrong, because I will, try not to cry. Just relax, okay? The security system likes to beep repeatedly, so let me try to figure out how to stop that. I notice that on these videos when I bake, people tend to suddenly think that I'm just the most incompetent person on the planet. Hello, sorry, how do we stop the beeping? I'm not incompetent. I just don't know how to bake, okay? Last time I did one of these videos, I flashed this on the screen and everyone was like, You should have done Today I'm gonna do it by popular request. It's a waffle cone shaped in a taco filled with ice cream and topped with multiple different things. <coughs> I'm gonna be trying to make this today and I'm a little scared. We'll put this up here for inspiration. Here are my directions. First step, make the waffle cone. <coughs> in a bowl. <coughs> Got my bowl. Beat eggs and salt together. Eggs and salt. Got it. Oh, we need one full egg and one egg white. I'm not incompetent. Let's crack this open. Now I have to, ooh. Ew! With this egg, I have to separate it. And last time I did that, everyone freaked out because I did it with my hands. The only reason I did that is because the instructional video I watched told me that that was the best way to do it. Apparently that's not correct. You're supposed to use the shell. And then some people said you're supposed to use a water bottle. I don't know what to do here. I'm done. I'm not doing this. Bye. I'm starting to feel like there were just a million different ways to do things and none of them are correct or incorrect. It's just a way to do it, okay? Because it seems like they all arrive at the same result. And that's what's important, right? There's a water bottle over there. Let me try that. It's empty. I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to suck out the yolk. I'm guessing you probably collapse it and then just... Oh! Wait, that's actually really cool. Okay, I feel better now. Let's move on, please. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. All right, done with that. Okay, it says to beat these two together. I think that means use a whisk. Ow, that's a knife. I believe this is what you're asking for. Okay, now add sugar. Come on, sweetie. Nice. Whisk until mixture is pale yellow. I mean, does that just mean until it's mixed or is it gonna have like a miraculous color change? Cause... All right, stir in flour. Two thirds of a cup of flour. Pro tip, put everything away as you go. That way you're not left with a big mess. Whoa, it is getting thick. Woo. Then add melted butter. Melted. into the microwave. Hot butter. And vanilla. Vanilla? Um, uh, uh, ooh, I found the sprinkles. How much vanilla? One half a teaspoon. All right, yep, sure. Okay. Next step requires... Here! 
a waffle cone maker. I bought it specifically for this video. So we're gonna do a quick little unboxing. Um, this is the K K Koji waffle cone maker. Wow, the instructional manual. This, this. She's a beaut. Obviously this is for like an actual waffle cone, but we're making a taco. So this is basically worthless. I wonder how many of these actually sell. Like how many people actually make waffle cones on a regular basis? I don't know. So what do we do? What do we do here? Ah, pretty freaking simple. You plug it in. <coughs> Thank you. It does say to use some cooking spray on there for best results. We just have to wait for it to heat up and the red light to switch to green. Opie wanted to say hi to you, didn't you? It's a waffle cone maker. Honestly, I can't really tell which light is on. I'm gonna say it's ready. So now I'm gonna take my batter. I'm gonna do a lot. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. And close for one minute. It's oozing. It's, 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 it's oozing. The thing is, when it comes out, you have to form it. I found a soap dish that's kind of in the same shape. So I'm thinking I can use this to kind of mold it around. Get this open. Yep, let's uh, okay, all right, we gotta. And it has these little suction cup things on it, so I'm gonna try to pull those out. Ah, okay, I'm gonna wash it. Okay, ah! okay, okay, calm down. Just let me pull it out. Owie. Yep, it's hot. It's actually kind of cool how it dries and holds its shape. Mm. Why is this the best thing I've ever made? And it's extremely uh, brittle. I'm wondering how this is going to hold an enormous amount of ice cream. Mm. I'm pretty sure if you were to flatten out the shell of this, it would be an oval because this is really tall. Let's try this again. not the shape I'm looking for. I'm gonna keep this one though, cause this is not bad. Option number one. So I'm just gonna keep on going and see if I can get something closer to that shape. This is actually more of the shape that I'm looking for, but the edges are obviously atrocious. <sighs> I'm sure there's a way to get more control, squeeze bottle or something, but now I'm out of batter. And am I really gonna do that all over again? No, I'm not. We're just gonna work with what we got, okay? okay. The next step is to do the chocolate dipped edge. Dipping chocolate here. So basically you just microwave this sucker. Before we do that, let me get my sprinkles ready because the sprinkles need to go on when the chocolate's wet. Bam, all colors. And I'm going to create my own custom sprinkle mix. You know there are packs of sprinkles with multiple colors in them already. You didn't have to buy them individually. Yes, I know that. But I wanted the full rainbow of sprinkles plus white. Got our sprinkles prepped. Now we melt the chocolate. That did absolutely nothing. Nothing. Are you joking? Still very lumpy. Yep, that's melty. Now, sprinkles, chocolate, waffles. I'm gonna start with this medium ugly one. And sprinkles. 
I would love to place them individually. I just don't have time for that because the chocolate is going to harden, so. <laughs> You know, it's not exactly the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. Maybe we can do better the second time. I'm gonna do this one, which is, in my opinion, the prettiest. So let's not screw this up. I think I might be putting a tad bit too much chocolate on there because it is just like gobbing off. Oh no! Please dry quickly. So I'm just gonna hold it until it firms up a little bit more. Please dry. How long is this supposed to take to dry? I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator so that it hardens even faster. I'm very worried about it in there. Should I bother with this one? Oh no, there's a crack in it. And I tried to glue it with chocolate. I really hope that the one in the refrigerator is doing okay because these two are just, um, they're very ugly. I am actually gonna use these as practice though because the next step is to actually fill them with ice cream, Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> Not very evenly divided uh, among flavors. Why does it look like that? There's a lot of ice cream in this. I don't know if these will really hold the ice cream. Let's see how well this will actually work. Okay, this isn't, no. Who's that? One second. Package for me. Hey, so it actually stays in there decently. I can do this. You ready to come out to play? The guest of honor has arrived. Chocolate at the bottom, then vanilla, then strawberry. Yes! All right, I gotta get this back in the freezer before it completely melts. All that needs to be done really is just the topping. So I'm gonna prepare that. We have whipped cream. We have strawberries. Let me find the really special strawberry that's going to make this just the magical dessert that it is. That's about the right size. Bam. Those are a little past ripe. Let me open this up. It's too much. <laughs> and the drizzle, I'm gonna use the same chocolate. It's still pretty melted though. I guess this stuff doesn't dry that quickly. I thought it dried really quickly. No. Oh, it just fell over. For the chocolate drizzle, I'm gonna be using a little piping bag. Put the chocolate in the piping bag. Lovely, that's a mess. Now, let's bring out thing. I'm gonna start with the drizzle. It is done. The whipped cream uh, kind of shriveled up, but other than that, I think that this looks pretty good. I mean, the shape is not exactly the same, but I'm pretty happy with that recreation. I think it looks pretty spot on. Look at these two. The only thing that's missing is the little bite mark. Oh, oh. Cold. Bite mark isn't as pretty. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put this together. If you have any specific squishies that you want to see me recreate with food, then let me know and uh, I'll do it again. Thank you for watching. Why am I so annoying? And I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye. Ugh.